All right, you guys, today we're going to be doing some preventive maintenance. Do a PM on this uh, outside unit. Um, you can't see really, but inside here, like in the veins, inside here, we're going to take the covers off and then get into the coil. Uh, on the other side back here is that there's uh, like leaves and stuff in here, so I just want to clean this out. This is a very easy job. I got some coil cleaner. So what you're gonna have to do is just remove your screws off of here and take this apart. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna bore you with that. And then uh, everyone's unit might be a little different, but you're gonna have a crap load of screws to take out. Uh, it's easy to put back together. It's easy to take apart. This is just the uh, shell. And then we're gonna get down to the coil and I'll show you how to uh, clean it out. It's very easy. So hold on and we'll go from there in just a minute. Okay, you guys, so you can see I've taken off the covers. Um, it's just the shell part of it, the covering of it. So we've taken that off, we've removed those. And there's that one over there. Um, as you can see, here is the cap right there. And my run cap is a 45.5. Yeah, 45.5. I wanted to see if it was a 440 VAC. Okay, so that's the run cap and just make sure that you um, disconnect your fuse box too okay so you don't get electrocuted of course and as you can see I live in Arizona so it's like super dusty and a lot of dog hair down here you can see down here at the bottom I don't know how that's coming because the sun is gleaming but as I come around the corner even more you can see how much stuff is in there um, especially back in here I'm not sure if you can see that, but you can see how bad it is back there. So what we're going to do is we're going to put some foam. It's coil foam, and we're going to foam it up. We're just going to get the hose out, and we're just going to lightly spray it. You want to make sure that you don't bend any of the... You can see some of these are bent. I think they call these ribs, or they call those... Uh, I can't remember what they call those. Anyway, so you want to make sure that you don't bend any of the coil. So... But yeah... I didn't take the top off, the top fan part off, because uh, inside it's not dirty. I don't have a bunch of leaves. I don't have trees around here and stuff like that. A lot of the guys have to take it off because they've got tons of leaves and all kind of foliage and stuff. I try to keep the area clear. I know people want to hide this thing because it's an eyesore, but it's better just to leave it out in the open so you can get to it. And so if the service guy's got to get to it too, instead of having a bunch of trees around it and it just makes it, makes it hard and plus you're getting a bunch of dried up foliage and stuff like that in there so yeah just make sure you that you don't uh, bend the veins you can see these are kind of split but this is similar to a uh, radiator so I think they call these veins or they call them the ribs or whatever but try not to bend your veins up you can see how this is kind of split but I mean just be careful when you're using the hose you're not going to put a lot of pressure on it so let's go ahead and foam it up and uh, then I'll show you we'll go from there so hold on for a minute. Alright, so I'm just going to take some of this uh, aerosol coil cleaner and I'm just going to spray it. Just from the top and it's going to run down. You only need a can. You can get this can from... Uh, I got this can from actually an AC guy who left it with me. And I think you can get a uh, coil cleaner from just like Home Depot or anything. But this foam is supposed to be pretty good. And you just let it sit there for a little while and then you spray it down with the uh, with your hose. So you probably don't even really need this stuff. You just want to get all this all all the foliage and all the crap out of here. Just by using water would be fine. I doubt if you really even need this stuff. But he gave it to me anyway, so I'm going to use it. And uh, if I didn't have it, I would have just showed you guys with water. So it should be fine either which way. So I'm going to go ahead and finish spraying this. You guys can just see I'm spraying it. And then uh, I'm going to get the hose out and then uh, spray it down. Alright you guys, so all I'm simply going to do is just rinse this off. You see how I have the water not real heavy? Just the light rinsing it off. We're not pushing in the coils. 
or anything like that. We're just getting all the dirt, letting all the dirt come down. Start from the top and just push all the dirt down and go all the way around just like that. Just let all that dirt come down. Pull out all your leaves, pull everything out of it. Just get it all cleaned up, get it ready. Because it's going to be running all summer long, so wherever you're at here, it's pretty hot, so this thing runs continuously. So I'm not going to bore you with all this. So I'm going to finish cleaning it, then I'm going to put it back together and I'll show you guys. Just make sure that you guys unplug your fuse for sure. Alright? And uh, so we'll be right back. Alright you guys, so I got the cover back on. Uh, as you can see, I put a new uh, run cap in there. The old one is, uh, it worked fine, but I just, uh, I was already in there, so I might as well just throw one in there. Might as well just go spend 14 bucks for a run cap. You're already in there, put it in there. If you have a service guy come out there to put that run cap on you, it's going to cost you minimum 200 bucks. Minimum. So I was already in there, so I just went ahead and just threw a new one on there. The other one was all rusted out. See if I can even find that one. See that one? Yeah, the other one was all rusty. You can see this old one. I don't know if you can even see that, but see how rusty it is. So I'll go ahead and keep it for emergency, but it still works. So I got this all back on there. Got it all cleaned out. I just need to put the screws back in. I'm not going to bore you guys with that. But uh, other than that, you guys, thanks for watching, subscribe, like my videos, and until next time.